There is only one indigenous broadcaster championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday. And it is today and forever.
Championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday and it is today and forever. Yes, of course, we must fight to the end. We must get to the end of this journey. And I would once again say welcome to this evening edition. This is Radio Biafra Extra and of course we are streaming live through Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station all the way from Biafra land. I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. The Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station is referred to as child of circumstance. And of course, this is as a result of the precarious situation we have found ourselves as a people. The most endangered species of Homo sapiens here on earth. The most oppressed people. And then sometimes, should I say, who had the capacity to adapt to every form of emasculation without complaining. But I think we've got to the end of the road as far as that issue is concerned. The Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station is an embodiment of the pro Biafran group who come together under the umbrella of the de facto customary government of Biafra because we understand some of the things we need to do to be able to take us home. The platform is being anchored by Diokba Uchi Ukafomefo, who is the director of Biafra Nation Alliance. He hails from Abatiti in Anambra State, Biafra land. He is the man who has assured us from inception that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And this, like I always say, is one word I do not expect everyone to understand the mindset behind those words. And by the special grace of the Almighty Creator, I am George Onyibe. And of course, I come from Abo and Yoma province in Delta State, Biafra land. I will, as customary demand, observe every protocol on this Radio Biafra Extra by first of all acknowledging members of the de facto customary government. From the implementation committee to the 
advisory body, whether in form of the parliament or in form of the executive, you are all highly appreciated by the people of Biafra. I move on to acknowledge members of the Biafra Nations Alliance, men and women who would have run because of evil men. They would have shied away from being forcefully accused of blackmail. They would have run from the face of the evil men, bloodied men who keep threatening day and night. But of course, if we are not able to lay down our life for this nation we profess to love so dear, if we are not able to go extra mile, of course, sincerely, not in terms of deception, sincerely, and then we are not ready to get Biafra. And that is why most people do not know how prepared we are. And so they think they can put up any form of a, a talent display and then they bamboozle everybody. But it's quite unfortunate they came late. But of course, members of Biafra Nation Alliance, from the administrators to the board of trustees, the media department and every member across the globe, you are highly appreciated. Believe me, you are doing miracle. You are performing wonders. And I'm happy even though majority of the people cannot see the evidence of your sacrifice yet. But you can see them already. You know them already. And I'm sure you are very glad of yourself. I will also acknowledge conscious people around the globe. Most of you are not Biafrans. But indeed you identify with us in this struggle. We understand your prayers are with us and we thank you for your prayers. We can only pray that in your own moment of trials, God will give you the grace to travel. And men and women you know not will rise up on your behalf. It is as simple as ABCD. We are here to take that which belongs to us and not that which belongs to another. And as always, acknowledge the indigenous people of Nandakano, the Alpong, the only thing they know how to do since there is nobody to blackmail, character assassinate, they are doing it to themselves. And of course, they are prone to run into every platform, most especially Biafra Nation Alliance, which is their destiny and their doom. They are always there yapping, insulting, abusing, cursing. Of course, that is their cause. And I like always tell them, I am their destiny and I am their doom. Of course, China Sangulu somewhere is listening. They are recording my broadcast and keeping it. I'm very happy when I understand somebody was assigned to be doing that in Imo State. I was very happy. And then it makes my job easier. But that notwithstanding, we're still keeping accurate and proper record of every event. Because somewhere along the line, the children, the next generation, the younger generation of Biafran have the right to know the truth. So indigenous people of Nandekano, you are welcome to exhibit your stupidity on my platform. China Samuru Chike, Dozem, Simeon Ekpa, Ada Highway, and Nelio Fuebu has become your nightmare. But it's quite unfortunate that you are being fed by the same coin you used to feed other people. But all of you are in the same truck. You are all being used and bamboozled by one man, Nandekano. And some of one of you, one of the group will be the, uh, 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 the, what do you call it, the escape goat. Those of you who are about to die will salute you. So please, bring in more recruits. Bring in more recruits. I can see their number is dwindling on my platform. But this is going to happen. Or I am keep retreating this very issue for record purposes. That having been said, I must acknowledge the creator, Chuko Kika Biyama, the one who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. I keep telling you, he is our wisdom. He is our guide. He is our knowledge. He is our primordial influence. In every matter, both great and small, he is our primordial influence. The lifting up of our head. And so I acknowledge him this evening. Be magnified, O Lord, you are highly exalted, for there is nothing you can do, O Lord, my eyes are on you, 
be magnified, O Lord, be magnified. He said, He said, He said. This evening, without wasting further time, we will go to our topic, which is simply titled The Action of the Militia Groups in Biafra Land will manifest very soon. The actions of the militia groups in Biafra land will manifest very soon. Most of Biafran people are ignorant and of course very naive regarding the agenda and protocol that need to be observed as far as the Biafran restoration project is concerned. And for the sake of trust issue, for the sake we understand that we are addressing the global community, we choose to cut matter down bit by bit. We speak in parables and riddles, idioms, believing that those who have sense will be able to design, disciple everything we are trying to point out to you. But in most cases, it is imperative that we address you in a very simple language and believe you will still be able to comprehend the mindset behind everything we see on this platform. We come in different dimension, not giving you a clear, clear cut of where we are going to. Because that is how it should be. And then you will get to a stage one day, you will understand that everything that is happening before you, we've told you already. About less than a year ago, we continue pointing out to you some of the things that are happening. About the criminality of the supposedly DOS. There are 419 and every other evil they are promoting. We told you about the recruits all over. We told you that Nanda Kanu is responsible for all the evil happening in Biafra agitation. But some of you, based on the information of, at your disposal, you think Nanda Kanu was the god who created IPOB. No, he was a single man who was supposed to serve as the image, the physical image of the invisible Biafrans. Because he was supposed to stand between the living and the dead speaking at and on behalf of those who have died and those who are still living we lended our voice to him some lended their certificate and others gave him their money we say go for us we are behind you but when he saw monthly due he lost his mind when he received praises meant for the almighty creator he missed his part and i tell you until he's totally humbled, until he realizes he has made mistake, until he come out openly and apologize to the people of Biafra. I am very sorry to announce to you tonight that the next generation will have to start all over again. And I hope you will understand that. And so we continue speaking in parables, in language that those whose mind have been corrupted will not understand. But those who are being saved according to the Bible, the, the, the word of God is a salvation to them. But to those who are perishing, it is foolishness. Those of you who have been used to you, what are they saying? What did they know they are going to say? Be keeping your record. Let it the kind of collect amnesty. We will hail him as the Jagaban of Biafra land. And that is all he can achieve. Nothing more, nothing less. If you like, kill everybody. Nothing more, nothing less. But how will you understand? Most of you are waiting for what will happen on the court day, court day. What will happen on that court day? What will happen on every other court day? They have concluded it. Because the moment you begin to hear grammar like political solution, grammar like uh, judicial situation solution, grammar like amnesty, my brother, you have been sealed, delivered, and documented. But it's amazing that most people you thought they are the enemy of Biafra are the people who are pushing hard and now you know that somewhere along the line the game actually changed Ike Kurimado was beat up in London or is it London or Finland beaten up properly messed up I, 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 I pitied him when I saw the picture but somebody will say he's, you know his his brother and it's amazing the same Ike Kurimado is, is going to come out and then tell you uh, uh, give him a, a political uh, solution I understand why can't we give those who died in the hand of Fernando Cano 
political solution. Why can't we give to those who are incarcerated as a betrayer of Fernando Cano and his sister and the police? Why can't we give them political solution? The ones they rape, mother and daughter. Where is Obase? Why can't you give them political solution? The ones that were buried alive, starved to death, hanged on the tree. You, you think they don't need political solution? And then we, most of us are here deceiving ourselves. This journey is going to take a turn most of you have not bargained for. And that is why when I see people who think they are playing smart, getting involved in matter both greater, greater than them. I could only wish that God will open your eye on time. So you will understand that you are hitting Tipa loaded with sand. Better Tipa loaded with sand. That is what you are hitting. Because we go nowhere. Coming back to our topic this evening, like I said, it is titled The Actions of the Militia Groups in Biafra Land Will Manifest Very Soon. Let me start so you can be able to follow. When I was expelled from IPOB, from Biafra Land, that very night, Tina Sanguru published my picture on social media. This has not been there. I have said severally how the picture got to China Samuru's hand. Because among the people of IPOB, aside those in Biafra land who has contact with me, and I don't allow them to snap me. Only Mazu Chimefo and China Samuru had my picture. And I know I classified the picture I gave to them because we already know a day like this will come. And so it was easy to know. And then that same very morning, because throughout the night I was like wondering, we, 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 they, they have blackmail, they don't have evidence, they have did, done their job as always, yahoo, yahoo. It's okay. And then the next thing I, 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 I happened to me was around 11 o'clock in the morning that same very day, I received a call from one of the Nigerian security agency. It is the voice of a female and she asks me, I hope I'm on to George Unibi. I say, yes, you are. And she said, you were reported by your people. You were reported by your people. And I say, what offense have I committed? He said that you are forming a Malitia group and their name is Biafra Watchmen. And I said to the woman, but I hope they also inform you that I'm a reverend. She said, yes, we know. And I said, then when you hear the word watchmen in terms of Christian faith, what is supposed to come to your mind? These are a group of men and women sandaled with the responsibility of standing in the gap on behalf of the church, the community, and the world at large. And so we the Biafran nation, I mean, we the Biafran watchmen, here in Biafra Nation, our job is simple. We do not protect the interest of any single individual or organization. We protect the overall interest of the universe. But of course, we are Biafrans. And that is one truth that cannot be buried anyway. And I thought that you can see. Our job is more of prayer. And then we expose evil like I'm doing here. And she smiled and said, it's okay. Make sure nothing like that is happening. And the woman, I must tell you, she's a Biafran woman. And from within the Calabari, Wakrike, Aziz. Within the Joe Aziz. I will not be precise, so you will know the person I'm talking about anyway. And so, the question begins to come up. IPOB supposedly say they expelled me. That I stole money they knew nothing about. Without evidence. Okay, foreign, I wonder where he is. Josephine Erewa, they were jumping up and down. Bright Chimezier, Benjamin Madubugu, how to blackmail me. No single evidence. They opened a TV channel for me. They call it, uh, what did they call it? I see the hot, I see the pepper. And the question should be, does my life worth less than the life of Fernando Cano? If you say yes, then the life of your whole generation worth less than that of Fernando Cano jack dog that they killed did you not notice when he was saying about what they did to his house in his house 
he never mentioned the name of one of those genuine Biafran boys and girls who died in his house. I can assure you there are over 200 of them. Forget about the figure you have on the social media. But he remembered the name of Jock, Jack, his dog. And that is to tell you, Jack life worth more than the life of those gallant men and women as far as he is concerned. Let's not digress any further. I bring it up because the issue of Malaysia group need to come here. And now, going back to Nandekano previous broadcast, he constantly remind you that when he's done with Nigeria, Somalia will be better than Nigeria. He didn't say Biafra. But revise has been the case that most of you are not reading the handwriting on the wall. And now, it is easy to initiate crisis. But I tell you, they, you, they, they, they will get out of your control when the time comes. If we take Somalia as a case study this evening and see the level of damage done to Somalia by different armed militia groups, it will shock you. Somalia had a problem, a problem that require each group to raise up a, 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 a unit of men and women who voluntarily stand up to defend their people. These groups were later armed. They call them the militias. In certain instances, they are not regarded as terrorists. If you go to the history of America, you see without the Malaysia groups, they would not be able to carry out any revolution or defend their people in terms of any crisis, any time around the history. And so Somalia introduced their own Malaysia group. And as time goes on, sympathizers and observers begin to introduce their own little armed groups. And at the end of the day, both those in power both the minority civilians, both those who want to protect their life, everybody have a Malaysia group protecting their interest until they get to the level where they were armed and controlling them become very difficult. And this has been going on for over three decades. And so when Nandekano said, Somalia was going to be better than Nigeria, and I wish it was Nigeria, but it was not Nigeria, it's Igbo land. Uh, what do they call that, my? Usime. Acquired born people were kidnapped in Nambano, Imo State. Was it not the day before yesterday? You have not said it. You are intervening on the kind of brother against the US. All of you are deceiving yourself, not be Biafrans. And now, we will get that later. Because some of the militia group that have been created already, and many more is being created, our people are not aware. But one of the first evil they are going to do on the land of Biafra is that this homogeneous war will eventually be converted to heterogeneous war. I have warned our people time without number in not less than four different broadcasts. I say we must not allow these people to turn us against ourselves. We have our doubt. We have our fears. We have our inability to trust and rely on one another. As those people that mix up Biafra. But if we pour salt in the injury, it is going to be very fatal. And you see, some people are not looking at what is happening. There are some group of unknown government, ESN, who are jumping up and down, killing innocent people, to them, they are very mighty. They are powerful. And some of us ignorantly believe that uh, they are the one protecting Biafra land. What a shame. But when this music starts playing, when this music starts playing, it's going to be out of most of your control. And so the politicians, the monarchs, the elders, opinion molders, clergy men, leaders of thought who are collaborating to promote evil in Biafra land. I tell you, get ready. It will get to all of you. Most especially those of you who are not mobile. 
your business is not mobile your family is not mobile your 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 your, your community is not mobile i do not expect you to understand what i mean you are another you are supposed to correct the system but to you you are making wave what can't you learn from other people let's come back to our topic and later on we'll discuss others as we all know there are consequences to every action and activities under the earth some to be rewarded for good and others for evil but whatever the case may be most the very consequence of our actions must surely speak up the issue rising regarding the malaysia groups in the guise of defending biafra land was born out of the following reasons today there are different malaysia's group and most of you don't know you have the nigerian security agent malaysia group you have China Sanguru, Malaysia Group. You have Simeon Ipa, Malaysia Group. You have Fanboy and Kanonta, Malaysia Group. You have Nanda Kano, Malaysia Group. At least these are the ones who are ravaging everywhere. But there are so many that are not talking. They are watching you. There are so many. Some are in the high sea as we speak. In fact, it is so dangerous that some of them are in submarine as we speak. And that thing, some of you think it is going to be how you planned it. You are dreaming. They are everywhere. Because it looks like we have come to a crossroad where everybody will have to go and fend for his family and that is if there is any need for that and of course there is because there is a reason why we came out here there are so many groups numerous group what gave birth to them now understand first of all these armed groups malaysia groups it is easy to arm boys you tell them come and protect our land for instance ipob we say come and protect our land from fulani headsmen i don't know why we choose to be intellectually dishonest we cannot choose to be intellectually dishonest people because this is not part of our values or culture the moment they use cutlass kill anybody oh full and headsmen full and headsmen am i telling you they are not killing am i telling you they are not ravaging but have you tried to investigate any of those matter it will shock you the outcome the revelation you get there, it will shock you. And so it is easy to say, oh, they are killing us, they are killing us. And then what do they do next? We are going to defend our land. We are going to defend our land. If your governor cannot provide security, if your kings and elders cannot provide security for your community, so what makes them your leader? Because it is first of all your ability to provide security for a group of persons that make you head of government. We have evidence of such information, such truth all around us. King Jaja of Opobo is from Imo State. And some say he went there to do trade, Opobo. Some say he was sold as slave. But of course, according to history, we were informed. That when the imperialists invaded Upubu land, the supposedly monarch at that time did not have what it takes to defend Upubu land. But he said he can defend Upubu land. And a solemn promise was made to him that if he can protect, defend the people of Upubu, he will be their king. And that is how somebody from Imo State 
despite the fact everybody there is Igbo. It's now a king in another community right there in Opobo. He provided security for them. And so any king, any governor who cannot provide security for their people, certainly they are counterfeit. And these are some of the reasons why agitation will continue going on. There will always be crises all around us. Of course, we understand it opens door for those who want to loot to loot. But there will always be a political unrest situation confronting each and every one of us. And I can assure you, none of them is enjoying it. And that is how it's meant to be. Let us go back. It is easy to arm these people. You give them gone. You tell them, come and protect our people. And they take that gun. But it's not easy to retrieve the gun. It's not easy. If you take example from politicians, election is, by the way, now very close, 2023, presidential election in Nigeria. Most of the politicians will use the rest of this year, 2022, to import ammunition. And that is if it has not arrived already. The number of courtes are dwindling because most of the courtes are very expensive now. You can't get them easily. But that having been said, you have students. Most of your children are ignorant. They don't know. And of course, life is difficult. Their inability to live up to expectations. Becoming a courtist with the fake promises that governors or whoever is sending them will protect them. They can even promise them scholarship when they graduate and so on and so forth. And now they give them money. And now they give them ammunition. Why? It is to snap bad ballot boss. Why? It is to harass and intimidate people. They normally get away with it. But let me tell you a shocking story. After every election, it becomes almost impossible for those politicians, for instance, to be able to receive such ammunitions. Some of them become so terrible that they even harass state governors, that they even harass the movers and shakers of their community, supposedly. And you know the end? They will all be assassinated by the same system that makes them. But the truth that a fight must be thrown out and many innocent people will have to die. And so when you are forming these groups, understand that it is easy to give them gone, but come and collect it. I started by naming different kind of militia group we have. Armed group here in Biafra land. Umwada Highway, Nelio Fuebu them, Simeon Epa them have their own group. These people have gone. Chinasa have his own secret group. They have gone. Benjamin Madubugu have his own secret group. Nandekano brother, fine boy and Kanonta, they have their own secret group. Nandekano have his own. Now the intention is that they need this protection. And all of them are armed. You know, when they started killing police and taking their gun, all of them were armed. I know most of them who supposedly have ammunition in their possession. For some reason, I won't mention their name this night. They become enemy, and you are calling them saboteur now. The only reason is that China has asked them to return the gun. They say no. They will not return the gun. For reason, this is not the time to explain it. And China has set all of them up, set all of them up. I think among all of them, it's only one they have been able, Chinasa have been able to sell out. Okay, two of them. The rest are wounded animal already. And you know what? Don't wound the animal you cannot kill. And so it is easy for you to send out you and threaten people. If we catch you, we will kill you. It's only a tree you will tell you want to kill the tree will be looking at you. And so you see, 
you were one time controlling them because you give them gone but now they have the gun they have the bullet they have the necessary connection to sustain their criminal activity and now you see you can't control them any longer maybe you have up to 40 militia groups within biafra land we don't even know the one responsible for any atrocity but the point is that all of them started from under the canal amazi mefo warned you people about this thing most of you say this is rubbish this is get ready get ready because most of you don't know what is coming it's stage by stage they are very expensive to maintain and your inability to pay their bills expose them to criminal activity like kidnapping robbery selling of human organ rape among others when you set up this militia group understand that there is constant need to maintain them and that is why we saw people are saying let's bring war bring war it is because you've not been able to take a visibility study of what is involved because if you know what it involved to wage a war and sometimes you will be among the people who will be fighting to see that things are done properly it's not an easy thing to maintain an army you have to feed them you have to close them you have to pay their medical bill you have to provide accommodation for them you have to give them arm and ammunition very expensive i can tell you though when it comes to the malaysia group there are uh, structures to cut down some of these expenses they have a lot of way they improvise and then they develop these different mechanisms that allows or enables them to adapt but in most cases it becomes too expensive you cannot manage it we take for instance what is happening in biafra land why do you see them quarreling and shouting why did you see a lot of group emerging the boys have gone now and they believe they can be commander they can be general everywhere in biafra land they are all general general and you people don't know what is coming yet enjoy it while it lasts do unknown government break people motto sit at home clap for them all of you clapping you will come back home crying very soon what am i trying to tell you in effect most of them have stayed in the bush in fact i have a first-hand testimony from some of them who stayed in the bush that should be around 2017. They were so hungry. They were so hungry. It was hell for them. Then they were not criminals. So they were actually trying to protect our land. And then how do they set them up? China Sanwaru will collect 1 million Naira, for instance, from IPOB. He will now take 100,000 100, and send to 5 persons, which is 500,000. He will keep 500,000 for himself. He will now take phone and call the junior officers. When he gives the 100,000 100, to those boys, their generals, he will tell them just hold it uh, just see how you people can manage it anyhow just you know take care of yourself they create this impression impression and illusion that they are giving you the money and by the time you finish spending that money they will go behind and call the junior boys with you and uh, the, the, uh, your general give you people any money now they won't tell you they gave five different person 100, 100 naira they will tell you oh five of them they will tell you that ah we give them five hundred thousand they will magnify it as if each of those genera collected five five hundred thousand they create distrust they create confusion they set themselves upon each other and then your junior officer will just be looking at you he's hungry and his mind he will say so this guy just collect that five hundred thousand now only in chopper and they take care of him family won't make we die here eh? 
before you know they are fighting themselves before you know they are killing themselves that is exactly what they want and then they look for the smartest guy there Chinasa know how to do it he be calling you every passecon passecon bro 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 you people kill that guy bro 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 but the moment these boys sense danger that they are being used most of them disappear china sanguru and the dos those people you messed up their life <laughs> they are not dead though they are not dead they will respond at the right time you know them i don't need to call their name and so most of these people are forced to hit the road they begin to run franchise with malaysia group they are everywhere and it's going to escalate and i hope our people are ready for what is coming to some of you are enjoying it did you see any trace of biafra coming now 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 did you see any preparation or arrangement made now 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 that gives you the assurance oh even though now the canoe is released today do you see this biafra coming this year how can we choose to be naive or should i say wicked you know the truth you see things that are happening the stage is not yet set but you choose to live in self-denial and false hope it's very easy to uh, uh, to, to 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 maintain very expensive as i mean and most of them what do they do when they are hungry they have ak-47 if they can carry ak-47 and stay in the bush for one month because now the canoe of china or any other criminal in the name of your agitation ask them to go inside the bush and now they are dying of hunger is it going to take the same gun to rob innocent villagers that they cannot do now you can understand why some of them ran out of the bush and then bano and then kidnap a boss supposedly traveling from uyo to lagos kidnap all of them and so they will start collecting ransom very soon they will have agents that buy kidney they will start selling kidney and once they see it's a lucrative business what are we talking what are we talking they will eventually believe that if they can risk their life for something or a dream that is not theirs in the first place then why wouldn't they risk their life to defend their own ideology most of them have lost almost everything and eventually have nothing to lose and when they come for you they will truly make sure they leave you with regret nothing to lose so when i see somebody that is uh, in europe threatening me me that is down already mm, you are threatening me you see you are using your hand to kill yourself and then when i see the person that is on ground with me threatening me you know get sense again because you're living in a comfort zone you are protected and we are living in a war zone without protection we endanger the life of our loved ones our children everything we hold here because we have said to the almighty creator if in your infinite wisdom that the sacrifice of our life is what you require for us to be free we will gladly lay it down most of you do not understand and then you are living in the comfort of your zone oh, the amazing thing there is that you are not even hidden you are hiding Benjamin Madubugu running from Allen Onyema house to this one house, all those one house, and are they hiding all these police? You are not hiding because you are not always carrying your children. All of you, bright images, all of you. Yeah, they tell us that he's threatening us. So I'm not threatening all of you, but I have your evidence and your work. And so our children are before you. Our families are before you. She be you are a Jagaban. We will take away everything that is dear to you we we're supposed to be talking to nigeria now we are talking to ourselves because you are creating six small small arm robbers in the name of fighting for biafra 
and I'm only trying to remind our people that the the consequence of this Malaysia group is going to come up. But it's unfortunate it's in our land already. It's very unfortunate. Very, very. They've lost everything. He that is down, they fear no fall. And so I hope those of you who are putting up such Malaysia group are ready to live with the consequence. Our boys, we need money. Now there is no more fundraising. It's becoming very difficult to manage them. And most of them are losing. They are out of order. They are not to be in any instruction again. And so they have to go to rob. You say sit at home. They say don't sit at home. They are going to rob. And of course the enemy of Biafra will even impersonate them. And so if anybody rob, they say not them. These are some of the consequences. And like I said, I hope you are ready. You are in a civilized society. A place where they have zero tolerance for crime and violence. And from there, you are telling us to kill ourselves. And brainless zombies thinking that their loyalty is for another canal. Eh? Or, or to pilot. Eh? Dead man walking. All of you are jumping up and down. Understand, the time for all this thing is going to come. But it's not yet time. It is our right to self-defense. We can do anything if we want to defend ourselves. I, I hope you get it. When it comes to issue of defending yourself, we can do anything and go to any length. But it will not gotten there yet. We have to engage in Nigerian and the global community through the preamble of law. We have the United Nations there. We have the Organization of African Unity there. We have ECOWAS and the rest of them, whatever name they go with. And somebody say, for how long? But can you give me clear evidence of anybody who has been there? Who has made genuine effort? And if you have not been paid attention to, it is because you are not going in with the right slogan, the right principle. Or Marona one in Wubu But it's unfortunate and very shameful that most people who have what it takes, whose president can actually open any door. They are part of the people building this Malaysia group. They want to be president. Let's use our youth. Let's use our youth. And so for those who have been carved into becoming a terrorist, irrespective of any umbrella that you may be working for, understand the following. Those of you jumping up and down now, you are a genera. You are a genera. When I finish looking at your scale, Munga, you are answering genera, you carry key 47. You see, that is why when police catch you, they lock you in one room. They allow you to starve until you are only skeleton. Only skeleton. When they release yourself, you'll be like a Kukwazara. And then you just see yourself and they, you, you go the wonder that maybe this. And so when you carry that gun, you think you are somebody. My brother, you are flesh and blood. We have been there. When DSS released me, I was almost a broom. I was almost a broom, tiny. I could break when the wind is strong. Why? Because you have to be starved. You have to be tortured emotionally. Today they have picked you. They give you army boots. They give you army uniform. They give you fake army ID card. Then you kill two, three policemen. You take their gun. And in your heart of heart, you, 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 you are a fandan. The moment they hold you now, you begin to sing, Amen, Hallelujah, Amen, Hallelujah, Amen. And that is the greatest problem. All of you that they have been apprehended, they do sing. They sing very well. That is why those of you who are still there, I think you can make a U-turn. Because they will come for all of you. They will get all of you. 
if they don't kill you at that moment of arrest that means they need information to extract from you and they will stop at nothing until you sing you must sing it doesn't matter the track or whose upon you are going to say you must sing and now that they have so many of you your comrade in their custody who are singing any type of music you see they are a bit relaxed understand those of you who are out there if what you are doing is the best thing to be done ask yourself a simple question you are, you are a known gunman how many Igbo lawyers have you killed how many Igbo policemen have you killed how many Igbo children have you killed how many of their business have you destroyed if it is a noble job that you are called to do all these chicky those them then why would their children not come to march with us I know, I understand. But don't worry, you'll be fine. It's just like the same politician who say, go and snatch the palace boss, kill the police, shoot the army, destroy everywhere. But their children are in diaspora. Chike, those here, all of them giving you order. Go and kill it. Some of you, they are telling you, eh, let's get George Onibi. One of them wrote me, they've concluded my arrangement. They will hit me very hard. And I laugh in vernacular. I am your destiny and I'm your doom. We told you, you will call us saboteur when we are not saboteur. You will not call another after us. Is it not happening? But now if they, oh, see me, I say saboteur. It's a shame not to let them call saboteur again. I told you now the canon and the gangster called you is, I say anything you do to me, you will not do it to another person. This is a promise with every intention must be fulfilled. Because it's beyond the control of man. Ask yourself a simple question. You are in the bush now. Some of you, your mother is sick in the village. She needs paracetamol. You will blame it on Nigeria. What a shame. What a shame. They call you get I I, 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 I I don't stand to protect Igu Obona. I think they are saying that Igu Obona used his wife to do ritual. But these are men who put their life on the line. Tomorrow now they call him bro, 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 how you doing now? Forget all this propaganda, bro, 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 bro. We want you no know, car. But I say chicken, you go and collect it. Are you not ashamed? If you are a volunteer, you are listening to me, are you not ashamed? Then do a DSH for you. Person will do a DSH for you. Gun don't kill her. Bullet don't kill her. Now your own go remain. They do ninja man. Gaban. They, they bend. They walk out. They bend. They go one side. You know the shame? You never check your life. You never check your life. You see, what I'm concerned about you is that you are not longer defending your land. You are killing your people. Very unfortunate. Our people must get ready because it's starting gradually. The only way that they can stop you now is to kill you. And be rest assured, they will come for all of you. Because of their secret you know or have already known. Now, don't make any mistake about that. All of you who are working for them, you know already. This is how they function. Those of you who know too much in IPOB, all of you, they will bring all of you down one after the other. Because now the Kano will collect amnesty. He will become, you know, Jagaban. Fighting for Biafra, being guided by Nigerian army and police. You will see it manifest very soon. They will not change anything. Let him come out and fight for Biafra. We will fight him. But for that seed documented and delivered, it's not going to happen. 
and the greatest threat is those of you who are close to him all of you who are close to him who know what george onibe is saying is the truth who know his level of atrocity who have been instrumental to collect money from politicians and some businessmen and some uh, igwes and some clergymen all of you are going to be hunted down one after the other where is don one you think we don't know what happened now this information is beyond your control you cannot curtail it somewhere along the line you people will upset the balance at this moment nandekano has initiated process he cannot control he may gain momental temporal control over some zombie but he's losing it all already and then the consequence will come and some of you are very biased you don't even understand what we are trying to deliver you from in our true biafra and then somewhere someone has collected money betrayed all of us sold all of us you are emotionally daft and you sentimentally responding to issues what a shame those of you doing now unknown government esm guy you are not invisible oh. The very people who raised you will destroy you. There are people I'm trying to respect not to mention their name for many reasons. But when we get to that junction, don't you understand? Look at what we are turning our land to. I was having a discussion with a friend today. I said, this Uyo Transport Company that was kidnapped by supposedly unknown gunmen. Now, the people of Akwaibon will begin to have internal grumbling, discussion. And say, it's our people that they are killing. Is it the type of Biafra that we are looking for? And they're doing since a lot of things. And they have recorded it and now the impression there is that it look like Igbo people now are the one kidnapping acquired bomb people to kill acquired bomb people but the truth is that this is not Igbo people now this is in the canon now and his militia group but now they are going to rob it on the whole nation and i said to this brother let's look at it at the other way around if this vehicle loaded from you as it is said and heading to lagos if you look at it numerically let's say you have 11 passenger or 10 passenger on board i can assure you that 70 percent of those passengers on board that bus are Igbo people 70 percent of them are Igbo people I said the remaining 30, let's say 10% are within the acquired bomb. And then the remaining 20%, 10% are expatriate or those working in oil company. From a do uh a do state and uh, uh what do you call it the west and then the remaining five percent is just combination of the other minorities that make up the competent uh, nation biafra and so but the way the thing happened it now looks like uh, Igbo people are killing acquired bomb people but not until forensic investigation is carried out you won't see the truth and so in as much as this very criminal art it's not going to give us biafra this criminal art is not going to change our position in the nigerian state this criminal art is going to cause more problem and more harm to our people more of it is going to come up and you see many head will rule before it can go down somalia is being reborn already the people of biafra must be careful because things may soon go out of control almost everybody almost 75 percent 
of youth in Biafra land have access to gun? Directly or indirectly? And then one day we shall know who is shooting who. A region that used to be peaceful. A region that is known for hospitality. A region that is being marginalized and masculated by every way possible. But yet lived in harmony. Look at what he has become. If your life has been compromised or complicated as a result of trying to identify with a platform that entices you with the genuine intention of meeting the need of our people, you don't have to regret. You don't have to kill yourself. This is the time for you to come home as we are waiting to help you restore your life. Some of you, your life has been messed up. You, you just don't know where to start from. And you are trying to make that move now. And in your mind, well, let's just do it anyhow. Don't lose hope. These are one of the reasons the Biafra Nation Alliance is here. You don't have to lose hope. Just come back home. Contact any of our administrators. If you are listening to me, you may not be part of any pro Biafra group, but you have relatives whose life have been compromised in the name of Biafra agitation. Tell them not to kill themselves. Tell them not to lose hope. Tell them salvation has come. And it is on this platform. Tell them to contact any administrator. Biafra Nation Alliance across the globe. If it is the issue they cannot handle, be rest assured they will link you to the de facto customary government. We are not criminals, and this is one truth we cannot forget. We are a people fighting for our right. It is our right to self-determination. We are a people fighting to be the author of our destiny. We are a people fighting to take that which belongs to us. We are a people whose intention is to have a better life. The most indigenous species of Homo sapiens. And nobody can criminalize us and we will not give them that chance. A lot of things has gone wrong already. But this is the time for us to correct all those mistakes. At this moment, our lines are open. In case you want to call in to make your contribution. You are free to call in our direct line, which is a 081-228-2242. Zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one is our direct line. I repeat again zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one. And then our WhatsApp line is zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two. Zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two and if you are unable to access this line you are free to call in to my social media platform and that is if you have access to it do not forget that Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station we are on FM 100.5 some area in Port Harcourt, some area in Anambra State, and some area in Delta State. 100.5. We are on satellite. We are on app. We are on simple radio. And you are free to call in. And of course, the lines are open. And I will be back in a minute. Everything is written. It cannot be changed.
Biafra will always win every war. Like I said, the lines are open and you are free to call in. Don't let anybody deceive you. If you are a general already, controlling a particular wings of malicious, please watch out for the consequence. If you are a jagaban, you are a company owner, you have people, children, you gather, and you give them order to live in the bush, wait for the consequence. The time is coming. And be very ready. Be very ready. It's not going to be how you think it's going to end. My caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Uh, good evening, dear You are welcome to the program. Good evening, dear You are welcome. Go ahead, dear friends are listening. Okay, good evening, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on your time zone. So this is uh, our brother once more, Udogu Awele, and I'm from my name of this of Biafra land. So I just, I just uh, want to commend you so far and the rest of the professors for the enlightenment you have been, been giving to people, you know. For these guys to understand that uh, banditry is not the way to go, you know. Look at the, the, the militia group they have created now. That have turned into something else, and the, you, you see people's mother, they live in diaspora, people's father, they live in diaspora with their kids, and they sponsor this rubbish going on back home. And if you, if you, may, if you dare mention to those people, why don't they send their kids back home so they can also join those since they are, they are, they, they are doing a ESN or non government bandits? Send them your own case. If they are doing the right thing, they will get angry at you, and if if, if you have, then they will fight you. Or they are sending people's children. They have forgotten that the people, the, the same way they carried their own kids, in the same way another mother carried her own kids. Now, one and nine good months, and they, now they are killing them because those guys have turned into something else. This is this is terrorism. The era we call them bandits is gone. These guys are terrorists now. They are terrorists. They are terrorizing people. If people we see people in diaspora. They sponsor them and they come out openly. And I don't know. Well, I don't know what the Nigerian government are still waiting for, for 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 them to push for more, so they can they can you, grab these you, guys and send them back home. Nigerian government love it the way it is. That is not their problem. The only problem is when you are pushing genuinely to divide Nigeria. We can kill ourselves. It's okay for them. If we are waiting for Nigerian to get involved in such matter, and then we are gone as a people. The only thing they want is do not push genuinely for Biafra restoration. It's simple. And then others are very interested in fundraising. People who can who cannot even spend one hour under fifty mosquito. They are they are answering genera and sending our youth to their death. Go ahead and sorry for interrupting you. No problem, yeah, but so what I'm trying to let people know is this nonsense is happening because the people are allowing them to do the thing. Or should I say the system is compromised? But it's not too late. You, 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 you can cut this r rubbish. You can mobilize men. They should, they should go. I don't, let me not just say. They should go and ask what happened during answers in Asaba. Even that, that mask. Or is it all right? Could they drop at Hell Bridge? You go and ask. I don't want to say they should go and ask what happened with that thing. People, men came out and told the army and police, get out, let's let's do this one on one with these guys. They ran away and ran over to the other side of the bridge. So people should come out and we did not, we did not wait for the, the, the governor to come out. We organize ourselves, we organize ourselves. We organize ourselves, community leaders organize their people, and they wanted to bond the, the Asaba of Asaba Palace, the House of Assembly of Delta State, the local government. That was all got people angry, and they marched them head on, and they ran away. They saw men. So people should stand up against this people. How many are they in all? 
How many are they in Enugu? And how many are they in Anambra State that people who, who, who run away? If you can't take this measure, I also call on Nigeria government also to, to allow PMC, private military contractors. They should allow them so that they can deal with these guys, or you can make Nigeria, or they call it JTF. They, they should legalize it. Let's match these guys one on one. These guys are nothing. I see they, 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 will, they, will, they will threaten, we will do this one. Omo, we now will do shishi. People don't they carry that even until they carry, not even to the one they bought with their money. So you guys are too small to be threatening people who get your family. Can you see now if people are running away from Mijele? Mijele is dealing with you people now. You are not running away from him. And you are inviting more people too. You, you should come back. But the one that came back, you've you, 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 you never been able to do anything. He's dealing with you guys. Because of your evil, you guys, the, the thing you did to him. And you are, you are still calling, inviting more people to join. <laughs> these guys don't want they don't want is coming after them and people must be careful when you are fighting this uh, i punk be careful these guys if you if you are if you like women a lot please stay away from women because they they will use women if you like drink drink in your in your comfort that's why i like the way jello do his own he drink his in his own room in his house you know these guys actually uh, try to set me up with a lady here <laughs> but they don't know. They don't know. They are, they, they are joking with their, their grandfather. I know what they know. The, the, they try the, to the, check the, me up with a lady. The point now is, all those things they are doing, is he going to give us Biafra? All those things they are doing, is there any way to get Biafra? There, what is the interest they are trying to protect? What is the interest? I went to a meeting in Enugu with some people, and the moment I left, the DSS followed me to my house, and I was arrested. I have missed with people supposedly my own brothers. We are fighting for Biafra. I have been poisoned five different times. What are the interests? What are these people trying to protest? And then when they cannot succeed in killing me, and then they now blackmail me. What are they trying to protest? Austin Abanyim is behaving like born again, but he has contracted youth to go and begin to recruit our sisters in the higher institution. So they turn them to deadly weapon. Most of them are HIV victim positives. It's just pay them small money and look at that man, follow the man, follow him. What interest are they trying to protest? They can they think they can shut everybody up. What kind of Biafra are they trying to get? Now we are on the crossroad. Go ahead, please. So the earlier you uh, were saying you were saying they sent they sent woman to track you down. As I not the, this one they gave her my number. She was disturbing me. Come over, come over. Officer, I know how they operate now. <laughs> I know how they operate. <laughs> I know how they operate. The, the auntie, I, I no, but let me not just go there. That the, the, these guys are nothing to me. I will crush them now. They they, they try no sense. They, they will know that people don't do that thing they are doing now. Let's not, let's not go into that. I'm, I'm bigger than them in all aspects or in that area. You know, people are bad, man. That, that, that we, we preach Bible today does not mean that uh, we, don't, we don't have our, our street life. I told them, oh, Harley, if you misbehave, I'm, I'm street tested. Any how you guys want it, I will deal with you guys. I told them, and they, they got the message clear. So I'm, I'm encouraging people, don't be scared of these guys. This life is only once mobilize your people and march these guys head on march them head on march them head on whatever they are doing they are distracting you guys they are distracting you and some politicians are sponsoring them so you don't hold them to account full is not a problem federal government is not a problem Hold your local government chairman your governor your senators your house of rep members hold them to account and the ones that are not performing put them out get your pvc and it's also how these criminals now they can't the, Bring what these guys that your PVC don't matter. It doesn't matter. He need you to see politics as a very bad and dirty stuff. Of which, if you play very well, you see, or you see that 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 Biafra you are seeking for, you you will get it without even entering the Biafra you are seeking for. You, 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 do you have schools in your place now? No. You don't have, you don't have good schools. The one that that was built many years. 
nobody care. They don't repair it. Do you have hospital? No. What about road? No. It's zero. So what are we fighting for? I, I, I encourage our people back home, go and get your PVC. Get your PVC. Get your PVC. Put competent people in to go and represent you. They should speak openly, not uh, speak for your interest, not uh, for their own interest. And also, I want to encourage other people, let us mobilize ourselves politically. Let us mobilize ourselves politically. We can do this. Let us, charity begins at home. Let me tell them a story of uh, what happened in South Sudan. The, the, guy, the person that had that uh, the revolution for the South Sudan, the, after, after when they got their independence, the guy, during, when they are fighting, do you know what the guy was doing? He established a farm. You, you can Google or browse it. It's on YouTube. Check for Freedom Farm, you know, Freedom Farm Sudan. You will see it there. The guy established farm. He were, he, he were, he, he, not for his own personal use, farming, commercial farming. They were training animals, planting different, plant, different uh, agricultural foods. They were feeding their people. So if this idiot, this now the camera has been doing this for years, our people will not have the nobody will have the time to go and carry gun. Oh, he was busy embezzling. People didn't know we were, we were just defending private company. His private interest. So let me just go back to the back to the topic. This militia they are setting up. People should we are gonna die. It's just one day. We are gonna die. So we don't have to be scared. Ah, we we'll die. We we'll die. If you, they will stick you, if you don't, they will stick you. So you have to match up with these guys. that are nothing. Just feel a couple of them couple of them, mash up with them. If you don't know what to do, go ask for that chase them. So they, 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 they will teach you how they, how they were able to curtail these guys. No sense. Go to Delta City, they will tell you how they were able to curtail them. These criminals actually, they want to hire some few uh, or deceive uh, but he guys that were cultivating rice in Delta State there. Uh, he I even turned the place to camp. Until, 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 until those guys did Obaba and the people have to caution them. Have, so I want to try to let people know, do you today have you heard of uh, unknown government attack again or anything in Delta State? They can't do such again. Now, if you do it, they should prepare to run even beyond the, they have to cross the road because Africa will not contain all of us. They will know, they, they know we, we, we will go after them. So this is what you should do. And uh, who puts on him? I think uh, today or yesterday paper. He said anybody that if any eye punk, if you identify one, is one million, he'll give you one million. If you if you know their camp, another five million. So this is just the beginning. Hope you should go and organize these people. Rather than giving it to an individual, mobilize your youth. Let them march these guys head on. They should keep police aside and march these guys head on. These guys are nothing. No, no, they are nothing. They are, Killing people, you know, look, I saw this old woman crying, they threw away her food. Honestly, I just want to encourage you and not so many other people, even the, the, mostly the people on ground, you and the Jele, Omukwe Mwanze, Ago Mwanye, Adapi Afra, and many others who are standing held on with these guys. They can't do anything. If they would redefine the struggle for them and if they want it, we would redefine it for them. Please, I want to encourage our people again. Please get your PVC and vote competent people in as your governor and hold them to account. Don't let anybody deceive you. There, are no, there is no governor in Southeast or South that is, does not receive this or her location. The same way you see to any senator. And you see, if you see senator in in, 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 in the day he's Biafra, at night he's, he, 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 he tell you don't, he, he need Biafra of the mind. It's to deceive gullible people but he's receiving allocation he's receiving his allocation every month so i just want to encourage our people please put competent people and hold them to account and this militia group will have to manage them head on don't be scared don't be scared they are nothing these guys are nothing please no, but i will hang on hang on for that people to call me also and then make their own contribution thank you very much that is a udugu awili of course, one of our administrators. Our people must understand. It's as simple as ABC. Nobody is trying to undermine anybody. 
we came out here in the first place to protect the overall interest of our people nothing more nothing less not to kill our people and so any view any action that is contrary against that must be resisted till the end we understand the difference between the biafran and the nigerian and certainly we want things to be done the way it's supposed to be done we want things to be done the way it's supposed to be done the people of biafra must rise up there are a group of individuals who are everywhere they are claiming to be your protector they are claiming to chase full any headsmen out of your forest they are claiming they are fighting for your freedom and among all that thing. but i tell you the truth they lie they lie and the way they carry out themselves conduct their activity they endanger the life of many more others and those who feel threatened that is one thing about every living thing the moment they feel threatened the next option is to develop a defense mechanism and which our people are responding adequately those who have been persecuted those who have been blackmailed those who have been victimized all of them have developed defense mechanism and i can assure you that the perpetrators of this evil the people who started this crime they are not going anywhere they will not be able to hide because they've been able to establish set up so many enemies that they cannot even control i have told you even in the right sense even in the real terms the position where we are today even in the canal cannot control the system any longer except he confesses except he makes amends without that he has no idea what he has placed himself into call out the line can you hear me so good evening Dr. good evening from here your name and where are you calling from yeah my name is Uweza. i'm calling from here and i'm just in the land you're welcome go ahead please yeah uh, uh, what i want to say to our people that how, how long can we be fooled by 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 the 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 the, the atrocities of the 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 only thing that this this leadership of as you you under the judge of another kind of given to the people is to send a people into the bush and kill themselves. That is the only thing they have done to our people. And this is this is by far and now. The way the way the way they organize their case in their case is not normal. It's not the way that a freedom fighter should follow and do the need. They are, they are dividing the different person into many, many parts, which is not good at uh, the very bad. I think, I think, I think, I think those people that are currently in the business of, of those men as they are here should be, should, I say, should, should they think, think, and, you know, in their senses, they know the, 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 what, what they are doing. I, I don't know the kind kind I don't know what that what that what that is easy what that what is the threatening are threatening our people that made them to carry their duties here. But we are here and they are here. Those talk to us on radio, everybody will carry their duties out alone. For what reason? I don't know I, 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 I just want to at least as what's happened to you know, as as we have cried under the leadership of Mark Marikano and their fellows, try <laughs> another another part. To know whether we succeed from that part. That is how to do something. It must not it must not focus on one place the guy and you don't get what you are what you're looking for. And if your system that you're working is not is not change you, you change the system. That is how to do something. But everything, uh, people are be, be, be acting like, as if they would be in the dark house. Look at what is happening in the States now. Everybody, everybody, everybody is running a task at the United States because of these people. 
or or no good man, no good man. So group of people will form their pair, organize themselves. I don't know who's most of them. Trying to threaten people like killing people. Uh, uh, I think they are protecting people. Protecting who? Who are now protecting? Uh, is, is, is it how is it how is it how the, the, those countries that are very freedom is doing their own? It, it is only in all these days that they, that that, that some countries get their freedom through fighting a war. At least now we cannot get that kind of thing now because if you do that, how all the whole country will against you. Now to follow the steps of how to get the freedom, not just acting acting as as he as the as person that doesn't have sense. You know, you know, it, 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 I, I, I get to say that the the arrogant the arrogant of cockroach makes him to dance in front of the chicken, and that's what happened to the man can. The, 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 the arrogant makes him to dance in the front of his enemy. If you want to get your enemy, you have to you have to use the anarchic course of your enemy when they are so for you win the win your enemy, not when you against your against your people. Huh? I I think that in Nigeria now. If we, if we, if we are there for now, we don't want to just get the food, we want to work with the people that are in, in government in, 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 in Nigeria before, before, the, before, before we move forward. The way they are doing is that you are castigating people that can help you, and you are thinking that you get it to, get it to alone or, or, or you. It's not possible. You can't be done anywhere. Yeah? And this, 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 this kind of thing that you know, I don't like it at all at all. That's what I want to conclude. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, our target is to make sure that our people, they wake up. They will know the truth and the truth will set them free. The issue we are discussing of about at this moment is it's not just because we, we want to. We are just trying to guide our people into all truth and deliver them from every form of deception. Don't let anybody deceive you. This militia armed group that is springing up from every corner, I'm telling you, they will destabilize the Biafra land. You can be rest assured about that. Uh, caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yeah. Loud and clear. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Okay, my name is Chukuka of Ijele Speaks. I'm calling from Abuja, Nigeria. Ijele Speaks, Udugu. I want to know. Udugu, uh, allow me to praise you first. Udugu, Udugu. Eh? Udugu, Udugu, Udugu. Eh? In fact, it's Jokwa. Gawani I want to thank you in a special way. I want, you know, sometimes we do uh, busy ourselves with things that concern our people, especially things that concern our people, especially things that affect the ordinary people in the street, things that affect those who can't eat if they don't go out for the day. You know, those just watch what happened in any that woman they throw away her food right that woman maybe she borrowed that money why would innocent people why would poor people be paying a price over a scam started by someone who is hell-bent on sending innocent youths to early graves just because you know we spend so much time talk about this that we don't appreciate ourselves well enough you know, like many people wouldn't know that we hardly speak. But that doesn't mean that my mind is not there. I'm, I always have you at the back of my mind. But for me to have taken you so close and, you know, over time we are speaking, we come to understand each other in certain ways. So many things we agree on. Others we don't agree on, we know how to get around it. But at the essence lies our love our people, our compassion, the urge to bring change. So I want to thank you so much. I want to thank Awele. I want to thank Agumwa I want to thank Adab Biafra. You know now, every idiot is now Adab Biafra. Be tired, whatever, uh, what I don't want to mention here for the sake of the kids listening. 
you can see it in their character they, they are you no longer even writing it to the extent that they will be exposing each other how much their fellow bingos pay to sleep with uh, with them now every judge is now at that you know like since we started preaching our tradition all these criminals because you have criminals in everywhere you have political criminals you have religious criminals we that are promoting our traditions some of them when someone has one malaria or typhoid instead of going to the hospital you say that uh, he, he, she has been choosing and start answering reason why now we have millions of reason why yes. the thing is like two for a penny now on facebook that's how you have all this is just answering and that they are we can on the sufferings of this and other Biafra, those early women who came out, why these idiots were busy sleeping from one one motel to another? Those women put their lives on the line, left their businesses, put everything like willingly came out, determined to see their communities change. Because you can't be around there are mansions, two places, the type of homes you see in Los Angeles and other parts of uh, 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 industrialized cities. You just see them around everywhere. Of course, you have the feeling that there is money or there is access to information. We know that there's money everywhere. Now they see all those things, but none is getting to their table. They saw someone that preached about bringing change, about a radical change, which is what's needed. They followed all these women, no one remembers them anymore. But some idiot will stay somewhere and call Madame Socialist and say, ah, you can never be well with all these people. Well, I've told people, if you see any bingo that is not cursed, let me know, show me one. You can't show me any of them that is not cursed. Madame the Canos, uh, Father's compound. As the word is the mango tree that used to stand there, those of you bingos that have gone there, that uh, yeah, you people brag with being in that place to sacrifice yourselves for a first star. You people are already worthless. You showed it by going to put your life on the line over a cost family. Ask them where that mango is. You brag that you've been going there. Where is that mango tree? With that from root, not struck by lightning, not approached by any hard energy weapon, nothing. We know what that means in our land. A family like that, do you think that our you people that believe in superstitious uh, nonsense? Okay, if you actually are working with what the land says, well, when you say something like that, if a mango tree with that with us with food on her. In our place, it means a sacrilege. And that family, if they don't confess the evil they've done, they will all be wiped out by the land. This is what's happening. So I don't understand why people say he is a political solution. They will leave him. No, if an evil president comes in, he will give him. Any president that tries to release this guy will have a military coup on his hand to deal with. I'm telling you. Do you know how many officers they killed? How many police officers you think they are going to betray those men and women in uniform for a first star they don't even care if you burn your place to ashes they don't bloody care the other people are there judging you to win your land and now they will be there at this basis but i'm happy uh, in sima <laughs> you don't reach your side now Nsima, if you reach your side, I am happy that it is getting to each and every one of you because that is the only way you will take this seriously. At least those people, if they've not eaten them, if they've not trafficked their organs, if they've not uh, buried them alive, if they've not done any nonsense to them, if they ever leave them, <laughs> They will no longer join the uh, chorus of a Fulani Hesman anymore because they know that it's Ibu Haram that kidnapped them. All these boys, they are like Finas and Ur, of course, you know, 
when anyone sees the truth and wants to leave, they will set the person off and kill the person. I like that woman, bless her soul, that police woman that called you. Because what they have done is just to set you up. I targeted them very well. When they were setting their father up in Turkey, they planned with some people in Lagos. I laughed. I said, Try these people. Ask them all the tickets they bought was to Lagos. They, don't even, they didn't even know when I came back to Nigeria. They didn't. I made a video before they even announced to you. You cannot see any video they made about my landing in Nigeria that is older than the one I did where I made a video and told people that I'm in Nigeria. You can't find it. They use people police. All these politicians they are working for would not want them harmed because it may lead straight to them. These guys are amateurs. They are talking over the phone. Most of their conversations, the government have them. I'm telling you. It pains me that people, the fraud that ate the lives of your grandfathers and your fathers is eating you. I love what I want to say. If you want these people to take it, or get your PVCs. If you actually want to talk about Biafra, it's not something you talk on radio. Well, you have to be on the table to participate. Let them get their PVCs. I assure you, these people, these politicians, they are just licking their fingers and looking at where the wind will come from. They know that no one participates. So the few people that participate, they will use this seat just to uh, snatch ballot boxes and write results. But when you all are participating, they see the number of registered voters, they will shield that. They will. I made just one video, the useless showcase renovated at the house. One person, just one video. What do you think a multitude will be going to liberate our people with the genuine goal? to bring change. What do you think the multitude will that go with it? There is no, no economic powerful enough to compare, to be compared with the, with, with the type of explosion they will see. Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined will be like a walk in the park. I am telling you, they, these are cowards. I know them. Morons, sometimes they go and talk and gossip with their father's name without knowing that those people they are talking are speaking with me. All these boys that want to leave them, please, if you know any of them that is under their threat, tell them that the government is not after them. I'm telling you this. If they didn't see them in their camps, if they see, didn't see guns in their hands, believe me, they have no case. The government was never going to do anything if these people hadn't been killing police and the personnel. And the first I didn't know it, they just take him as a joke. That's why nobody takes any good politician seriously. When these people know that the person you are going to feed your people is a fraudster. Why do you think Smarter Day me was in such no case? Any nearby they couldn't even open his mouth to defend his governor. He can't do anything. And if he gets involved, people want to attack OKC. He attacks OKC as once. The illiterate uh, doctorate, uh, uh, the illiterate PhD holder would would lash out, lash back at him, you know, work with the theology, and they'll find someone I give it to. A normal person, probably. They can't. They're fooling the people. They are fooling the people, they are fooling the masses. And those guys tell them, it is in my name. Let it be in my name. Let their blood be on me if anything ever happened to them. Let their parents, let their families, if they can afford, please let them leave the Southeast. Let them leave the Southeast. And if they feel that they will be present, I assure you, I know human rights lawyers who take them to then those people will get them documents from the Attorney General's office. Immediately, and no one will blackmail them with this. All 
these police they are using to work, they are using to pick people up, they, they dare not stop anybody that is under my care and they know the people I'm talking about. I dare them. I dare them to. Why did they run and release the Bishop Ellen Studio? I named the people that had lived for the body of the Bishop Ellen Studio to go to school. That person, I assure you, they won't have you that they could not bear. They are talking about, uh, they, they just need to pay contractors, organize contractors. Men are ready to do this thing, the weapons are there. Just awaiting approval. Just awaiting approval. This will be cleansed immediately. If it will mean that the South will be deserted for a month, it will be deserted. But I assure you, at the end of the day, the sword of truth will be raised high and you will never hear any noise in the South. It will get to all these people, China, Samuru, Chike, Muslim, all of them, I assure you. They will feel the pain the people. It's a promise. It's a promise. They are just getting mad that I okay, I post I pasted your banners on on, uh, on bridges in Abuja and other strategic positions and you are cutting feelings. Don't worry, you are going to see it in Lagos. Prepare in Oshodi. Those of you that are oh, we are forbidden. Wait for me just before you come out that day. Choose between Panty or Alabon. That is if you ever make it get brief. Choose between Panty and Alabon. We will expose you. We will surrender. We will never be cowed. Who are you people? Are are. Who are the monsters they warned you about in the street? You think we've forgotten? You think we'll retire in this game? I could be a little Kakoi international in Bonia. Don't give him a job. Take away a bullet to the cake, could have went about a cab of the town here or some tar and that. And that case the wound has a whole bingo day denial here. Say, I'm asking no man a restaurant to win your mind. I have known a restaurant to me, Mazi Conovent. We, we can't, we will never. We will never. We will never. What? What? Great, great grandfathers fought for the British to be expelled. And you think the children of drugs, these children of Nobody's the children who are drinking ethanol, cheap alcohol, bootleg alcohol, and died in time. They, their kids, they allow their kids to be bringing stolen things into their house at very early stage. We know how they are going to be. We, didn't, we all didn't go up, Saint. That's why they no born any being. There any being go. From my community, just one. I tell you, my good video mention on my name. Obu, well, I don't need to look at that. 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 They know who they approach. They have to hurt their people. You cannot pull that trick over me. You cannot pull that trick over me. And consign it to a corner first, then I will deal with you seriously. I will deal with your family. This is the only way this ends. All this nonsense preaching. Now, watch. China Samuri has always been working with the government. Who doesn't know? Why do you think they haven't picked him up? Why do you think? On good authority, in fact, the man may be watching this video now or he will watch it later. I asked him, why didn't they pick this guy up? You 
know what they told me? He told me that I should forget that the girl is not with the brother. I said, no, she is 100%. This, they are all matching in lockstep. This is a family business. She is only giving you the names of the people that saw through this scam and want to leave. Which they did to you. Had that woman not known you, would have never not you. You will be using the same things for to call out people through your scam. That means you have nothing left other than these idiots you are using. That is the reason we need to deal with them now. They will disappear. Nobody will ever go to so no government. By themselves, they will be telling these people, bring your own children and carry this gun. Maki ite gasu. Ite suru no ko. Ije ni ile no ni ni ite. Me no nambo go, me no nambo kwa da. Ije ni ile na asu. Over my dead body would, would a, a fool rule over me. Nigeria, in Africa, and I will speak to my mind. Why did Thomas Sankara die? Why did Fela pay the ultimate? Do you know the unsung heroes of Nigerian independence? People gave their lives. People were killed by British intelligence. Some of them lost till date. No one knew where they are. Till date, no marked grave. They will pay that price. My ancestors directly fought the British, fought them to a standstill, and I am going to be afraid of cannibalistic children of drugs. Fifty people. 28 guns against three policemen, you'll be answering for me. Don't worry, we'll show you numbers. Don't worry. Also, you took a right. You people may be getting a military base there. You people will be or may be getting a military base. Anyway, politicians, the ones they were calling sculptors, one who Go down to open mado to somebody they not defend. Really? So Omwaka Agedi amalgamation of four one nine. Now you now want to take that on a decrease. In the bullai, I do not hear how I say. Onye yo tori umudura mala. Onye awola yo tori umudura mala. However you are, Umuduru knows, unless you are not living in Umuduru. We know you people, your business system, the Colonel's father, was a catcher, 419 catcher, put me anywhere, Umushiko. The woman, the man, the man to, and spent nearly 13 years in his house, only came back after the man died. After selling her agidi at FM Shumaya, she will carry her goods, go to the man's house. Coach me anywhere. Coach me anywhere. When did she come back after the man died? A politician. How did the man die? Arm robbers. Supposedly. Supposed arm robbers. Supposed arm robbers. Came in. Into the house. Killed the man. Didn't take a disappeared into the night only two of the both of them are on the compound now the mistake was that the door was not locked well somehow it's an innocent mistake these people didn't start killing today i mean the entire family ask them this thing i'm saying anybody from a family we confirm it ask anybody there that was when the mother went back to the father. And they are telling me the father didn't plan it. A man that sleeps with little children that are hawking things in Umaya, 
Why did one of their men who was pregnant send away? Because they didn't know if it was Emmanuel or the father that got her pregnant. Emmanuel's wife that is in Lagos, ask her. The mother, when she complained that Emmanuel is just sleeping around the woman, the mother told, told, told her, eh, if he's sleeping or if he's moving around, why don't you move your own? And then you um, move an act. That I just want you to know the background, the moral foundation of the people you're talking about. That is why nothing they do surprises me. I am never terrified of the that because this is what psychopaths do. Why am I not terrified? Because I know the antidote to psychopath. It is total destruction and we destroy you directly. Come to back in hand, the can cannot beat me in the combat. He is not smarter than me, he is not more intelligent than me. Why would I be afraid of him? Oh, he is there evil as well and more than him. Just that I am going to go to harm and innocent person. I've done so many terrible things in my life, but go and check on each occasion. I am always on the path of justice. Anybody that said I offended them or did anything wrong, them, I knew what they did first. Now, whether the response is justifiable is not your prerogative, it's mine, because I didn't touch you when you came to me. You decided the quantity you want to do, you exactly on me, no problem, and I'm going to decide how I'm going to deal with it. And I'm going to make sure that as I'm dealing with you, I, I'm telling everybody, I am the one dealing with you. First, I will tell you what I'll first do to you. Then, I will make them understand that this is the only language so so fast understand. All these innocent points they are using, they will still send them off. The moment they stop listening to them, they will still send them off. I still remember my friends. When we was really started this month, so they came to recruit us. As early as then, they wanted to recruit me as a secretary because I already wrote like two articles that were published on National Daily. Champion first, then uh, Guardian. I saw through, I knew what the rest was. I try to warn my friends. I try to, when you say friends, it's not always halfway say it's a friend. No. I mean, people, you still remember their last names. You still remember their faces. Case. You still remember the memories playing on the radio. Oh, my God. If they had listened to me, those that ask those that grew up in our streets, number no, nine, Jirka Street. Standing, one one HBC, We were going to judge together. I said, I'm not going. Stanley was just an ordinary child that just wanted to catch his clues. He just joined all these people. He, he escaped. He moved. He joined. And the military was moving me. My father was with never there. They were moving weapons. I called this when my father got the information, gave it to me. I went and told them in their camps, everywhere, asked them, paper, everywhere. I gave them the information. Azul territory, Abaka Forest, all this place. I gave them information. Please leave. those uh, shotguns so I gave to them. I told them, I pleaded with them, leave, you will not survive what's coming. Anyone living with you will tell you what happened in 2006, how it was. This is what these people want to repeat. Over lies. Well, it will never be well with them. Thank you, my brother, for inviting me, for inviting me to speak to you. Thank you very much, sir. Brother Ijele, you're welcome to the program. All is on point. And these are some of the things our people must understand. Ijele is a brother. He has a different ideology about the whole thing going on. 
and I have a different ideology. But we are uniquely fighting for the overall interest of our people. And that is why under the Biafra de facto customary government, we don't castigate you, we don't kill you. Whatever it is you believe, that if this thing is done, we can be the author of our destiny. If we do this thing, we can have electricity, we can have tide road, we can have a conducive environment to bring up our children, we can have a home we can call our own and be proud of that very home, irrespective of where we do missile across the globe. Is this too hard for you to understand? And I think Ejili has broken a unique record in the history of agitation of every kind. Because ordinarily, I just say, oh, it's a Zuma, it's a Zuma, it's a Zuma. My brother, I have seen chimpanzee inside supermarket. And that is how punk. You, you, see, you see, it's going to be shut down. If I see chimpanzee in the forest, and I say to my father, I just saw one chimpanzee inside the forest. If that is where it's expected to be. Now, we are seeing chimpanzee inside supermarket. Very unfortunate. It is not the hatred of our Saful and your Yoruba, not the hatred of one Nigeria that drives us, but the emasculation, the deliberate killing of our people. It is so much, so many to mention. And so the people should get in it. And of course, still on the same issue, do not forget. Do not forget. They are praising you. Hey, hardcore. Hey, a man. They are sending you inside the bush. And everybody at this moment is setting up their own militia group. Believe me, the result will come out. The result will come out. China Samuru cannot control it. Autopilot cannot control it. The gangster called the US cannot control it. And now the Kano has lost control already. His brother Fanboy cannot control it. You see, I'm very sure most of you are not ready for the antagonist. Most of you are not very ready for those hidden enemies you have made. Most of you are not even ready for them. But they are coming. But then at the end of the day, the innocent people suffers it. The end will not be very palatable for any of us. And so let's do the right thing. I'm joined by Agu Wine. Can you hear me, Agu Wine? I can hear you, sir. You're welcome to the program. Good evening from here. Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir, from here. Wow. Oh, this is wow like before. And uh, before I go on, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone. To all the well meaning and good conscious people, of Biafra la, uh, worldwide and the, the genuine freedom fighters in all ramifications. I say, may you be blessed. Before I go into the topic tonight, I will not hesitate to greet our great brother Ijele speaks. God will continue to protect and preserve you for the great work you are doing. Just like as Diopa said, I know it's not everything we ally together but for the fact that you are fighting for the freedom of every individual both uh, home and abroad god will keep you i know when in those days we we are so hatred into our life we we, are, we follow the people to be calling you daily that time because we have not known the truth when the truth came up, we now know the truth. We started listening to all the things you were saying. I now started recollecting myself. I say, wow. So people... Earlier than now, you started saying this truth right from the beginning. When they, you really knew who, whom that uh, froster is. You started saying it from the beginning, and we, we are castigating you. But it's not late. Don't just my advice is that you should not deviate from the truth part that you are standing, and you are really doing a great job, both spiritually and physically. I tell you that banner that you always hang there, that is speaks volume. 
it speaks volume more than the ranting on social media. Keep on keeping on and keep on doing the good work. Coming to what Gyorpa said, of course, yes, many are jubilating doing Jangarova today that they have a gallant men. I are gallant men. I are gallant men. Look at the small bottle, more text bottle, talking about gallant men. I'm not generating a China Samuru and a Chief Kedusium. I don't even know whom they are. And they have committed more than they can control. But at times, a mad person says the truth, as I normally say. That uh, clips I had in jail play, China Samuru said the fact then that uh, the establishment of ESN has brought bad name to Biafra agitation. That thing he said is a fact, nothing but the fact. If paraventure somebody had been doing evil, doing evil, and along the line, but, but, he found out that the, the day, the day, Nandekano introduced a Malaysia group to the DOS, that they were trying to put up something. We all knew, and we told him, some of us, that this was not going to be, it's not what we should be doing at this stage. And Mazio B, they tried to correct him regarding certain of his conduct that period. He shot every one of us down. That meeting ended by Nandekano saying, well, he's not going to give full details about the military group uh, because uh, in our midst, uh, there are some saboteurs. There was a language he used. And then Christy Ekan asked Nandekano and said, I don't understand what you mean. Do you mean that even inside this DOS, you don't trust some people? Because the way you are saying it, he, 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 you simply made it clear that there are people you don't trust in this DOS. And not because anybody has wronged him, not because anybody has shown themselves as open enemy, but because Nande Kano understand that Mazio B they will not accept that criminality. Mazio Chimefo will not be a party to that. Dr. Okado will not be a party to that. I always ask them a question that will indict them, and they are not ready to answer. You get the point. So this was something he, he introduced not to protect their friends from full and he me this is something he introduced just like the nigerian government bulldog dsc fcc icpc once you have been in government and you challenge the same government with clear evidence they release the bulldog for you one way or the other you must fall for one now the colonel was building his own uh, agitation bulldog and supposedly by now they will not tell uh, zombies in the name of ESN and unknown government. And he go and get Jackie Bay. He said this one, that one, and the young we go. That is what he want to do to begin to with hunt people. Go to Oba, burn man's will be this family house. Go to Abatete, burn on the kind of family's house. Go to Rugodo, burn Jackie Bay family house. That is what he wanted to do. But he never counted that we know these people children we know their family they know our children we know their family my father know their father and their mother know my mother and we know ourselves does he do need to protect our people china said that he's saying it is it not china said that made arrangement in our bar where they are showing the army uniform do he all of them will soon deny their father's name after all they are answering fake name he, 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 he brought bad name to IPUB. Were they not doing info before even introduction of ESN? When they raped their boy woman living in Anambra, mother and daughter of say where they has they introduced ESN. ESN just exposed them openly for who they are. But they've been com com committing such crime. He knows crime against the people of Biafra. And they are pretending that they are their savior. All of them, they are hypocrites. We know them in and out. For the sake of trust issue, we keep some word down. And now the canoe is going to come out. Let him collect his own percentage and come out and tell us Biafra. Oh, I'm to kiss and young wadi mama. Go ahead and sorry for interrupting you, my dear. You did not interrupt me, brother. You are still making it more clearer to me. Like as I was saying. 
you know, mad the people at times, they will say the truth. I'm not saying that I'm exonerating him because they are the originator of the evil we are passing through today. But along the line, maybe they find out that the thing is over in them. But that now we stand it. Look if, at if I this play Trina Sanguru audio for you, eh? If I'm playing it and listening to them sometime, Apato Yi Abam, you know what is Apato Yi? Mm -hmm. I don't know what they call it in English, honestly. That you, one, cool. Yeah, yeah, those people, yeah, but yeah. I understand what you're talking about. When I listen to some of China Sanguru audio, talking Scarlet Wally, hey, Apato Yi Abam, Apato Yi Abam, me in the same country with these people, something need to be done i must tell you the truth you have no idea who these people are you have no idea no matter how they come out and pretend you don't these are people that will be smiling with you at the same time they stab you go ahead please good good thank god that the recruit that uh brought in is the one that is going to wage the war with them all of them knew the, the evil secrets of all of them. They will use their hands to kill all, all them themselves. I think he, they wrote a memo that they are going to bring out their own unknown government to the street to go and unleash mayhem to those that are enforcing sit at home. Is it not better let all of them do it and kill themselves? Because I said it from the beginning that the ESC and Ekperima established is to go after those that the ideology is not the same with his own. Those that he feels that is a threat to him. Those that are smart and those that have wisdom and those that have the knowledge of the evil they are perpetuating. That's the people that he created that thing to go and eliminate them for him. Because all the ones he has been killing secretly, he thought that people did not know. But the thing started on, on enveloping to the extent that people have started knowing the evil they, they are perpetuating. It, the now created all those rubbish. I normally say there's nothing like DSS arresting any of all those uh, uh, commanders they have used and done. What they normally do is that when they give you that to their CEOs, when you do, 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 they will now look for one person they know that you are in lock ahead within your state. They will remove it from your hand and give to that person. So that serious enemies will be developed between both of you. Then the other one have their own group. The other one have their own group. They will now start clashing between each other. Then they will be up there calling the two groups. When they call this one, they will tell you what to do. They call the other one, they tell this one to do. That's how they will be setting them up. When they don't use you to the extent that they know that you have been very close to them, you have known their secrets, the next thing they will do, they will use uh, 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 Nam the Kanu sister and the uh, uh, Jofa wife in DSS and uh, in the uh, police. They will use them. Police uniform and the police uh, and the army uniform, they are so neat to themselves. In no, 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 what they, what they, they do is they will, they will tell the police where to wait for you. Then they will tell you, go there, there is a mission for you. That is the end of your journey. That is how they do. Go ahead, please. Those people will notice them, they will tie their face. The ones that are... Uh, a foreigner that those people may not know will leave their face open. They will come and pick them up. They will now go and kill them and harvest their organs and say, like as I said, anything the Perima comes on a to accuse anybody of is what he himself is committing. He started selling people's organ, making money, collecting uh, national dues and other things, joining it. That's the major reason why he knows the police people that is harvesting organ because it's the business he is into. So. All this uh, all said and done, there's nothing I want to say again because you have said it all with Angel and uh, my brother, well, uh, that called. All of you have said it all. The only thing is that we are watching them. That monster they are creating, that monster will finish all of them. It will eat up all of them. Now, where is the angry viper? Where is the BNG? Where is uh, 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 Motherland the warrior? Where is uh, how many fracas have they not had? Then they now crammed it all with the cannibalistic uh, element in the bush that is owned by the Epidemian Dungeon. 
So whatever thing they do, and this uh, small shortest bottom of text that is in Finland is gallivanting. Look at all those young young men that are struggle to kill the Nenugu state. And he is there gallivanting, saying that their gallant men are uh, formidable. They are killing their gallant men. Which their gallant men are they killing? Did he see soldiers there? Rather, is their own group, as he has claimed it. His uh, bishop claimed the unknown government from the beginning and started praying for them on air. He is trying to repeat what Ekperima did because he is trying to put his shoe, his footmark inside the, 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 the or to put his leg inside the Ekperima shoe and place it on his footmark. That's what he's trying to do, trying to showcase to people that he is very big and very formidable doing um, uh, moonlight play there that uh, he's doing broadcast and uh, as far as announcing the number of uh, viewers and the likes uh, that he has. What has that thing to do with Biafra restoration? And look at a butterfly calling himself a bird. Let him not just worry. Let him be jumping up and down doing Jangarova inside a film land a woman house that he claimed that he married. Whether he married the woman or the one woman married him, that one is their own cup of tea. Uh, anyone that manages to sneak out of uh, Biafra land, he will go there and start dancing naked, thinking that they, they, they have arrived. The gods of the land must destroy all of them, wherever they are. The four elemental bodies, I always call them, they must destroy all of them because all of them are getting in contact with the four elemental bodies. Don't, they will never go free from it. Both to the both to the dragon man, both to the Onyo Shinelu of a, a woman of that caliber, the, he, he, she's there in, inciting viol violence into our land for our children to be killed. She will never be remembered by any soul on this planet at all, unless she repent from her evil ways. The same way, um, am I talking of the ones that are doing a, a shower free here, they're being naked? Sorting themselves on social media, they say they are doing Biafra restoration. That's the level they have. Uh, they have uh, devalued de 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 the restoration to. But the 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 real God in heaven and the, the gods of our land will stand with those people that are fighting this battle with the genuine mind and they fighting it with the truth. Like as I said before, I still thank Injele for the good work he's doing. Let him continue exposing the evil. Let him not just relent in his effort. Let him, he's one man's squad he is. Let him continue exposing the evil. They are, did all their acrobatic things to repatriate him to Nigeria, thinking that there his life will end. Now he is the father of the land. Let any of them touch the land now. They are answering fake names hiding under the umbrella of what I don't know. If they want to sneak in, they will go and wear hyper-realistic uh, 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 mask. It's because the Perima has been using it to come and go. That's why he knew about it and he now put it on the head of Bugari. There is no info these people are not perpetuating. When they do it to finish, they will put it on, the, on another person's uh, head. But thank God that they are even, even the, on the social media today, people have known them. Anytime they make any post, people will be there and they laugh, laugh rubbish out of their head and make no, that is multi billion mockery of them. And they don't even want to live. They, they say that when, um, when God wants to kill a dog, he first makes it mad. He will not even listen or he will not even allow any, like in my own, they say any death that want to kill a dog will not allow you to perceive the order of shit. The same way when God want to kill you, he will first of all make you mad. Now all of them have been made mad. The thing that is, remains is their death. And the, the gods of the land has risen and they will start fighting them one by one when all of them will use their hands to kill all of to kill themselves and so shall it be Doc, i thank you tonight you are you are you, 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 your topic tonight is, is just trying to remind us what we are even trying to forget let them bear it in mind because they are gallivanting and they think that they have the monopoly of killing but they don't don't make them not worry very soon, like as the uh, uh, the mother, I said himself that the, his uh, their commander is gallivanting that they have um, a, a god 
that they don't they know that other people still carry gun that way. So they think that they know it all. They don't know that there might be people that are even silent, hidden somewhere that is not talking, that knows it more than them. When jungle matures, then we will know. Okay, I say, when you get to the forest, you will know there are different pythons. When you get to the, the, the forest now, you will know the one that is called the king here. So let them continue fooling themselves. And when anything happens, they will concord to lies and put it inside it and start showcasing. But at the end, the truth must come out because truth is always made. He's always standing tall. It's only the allies they will always be looking for what they will use to augment it. So, Diokpa, thank you for the good work you are doing. We will continue to be to, to keep on and keeping on, as our director normally say. And uh, we go nowhere. We must stand and observe and watch it. Thank as you. As we are talking to our creator, he will continue to be helping us. As we pray, because my scripture made me to understand that a prayer of a saint, a prayer of a sinner is an abomination before God. But a prayer of a, a saint or a righteous man is valid much in heaven. So, so far, our hands are clean and we stand on the righteous ground and on the righteous path, praying to our God to come and vindicate us and to do the needful. I'm very much rest assured that God himself will come from heaven to do it for us. And all the enemies of our people, all of them are going to cover their face on shame and so shall it be. Thank you, sir. And good night from here. Thank you very much, uh, Agowani. And of course, this is where we'll be drawing the curtain for this evening segment. The truth cannot be overemphasized. The Nigerian state need to up their game. They've done enough evil to us as a people. In as much as most of our people cannot claim to be innocent, in as much as we understand fully where believe that if the right thing is done, if a platform for transparency, fairness, justice, and equity is established. There will be no need for every, anybody in indulging in this kind of uh, trivial activities that undermines any individual. Let us be sincere with ourselves. But as far as the ideology behind why Nigeria is continually promoted and sustained, people will always agitate. People will always revolt. People will always complain. Nigeria will always go backward. And in the end of it, it is going to be dropped down completely anarchy and chaos will become the order of the day a process is being put in place already being initiated on different from by different organization individuals and people of interest but be rest assured be rest assured none of us will escape from this thing that is about to happen and then if the idea of one nigeria cannot be redefined in such a way that every component member, every component nation trapped inside Nigeria have a better life for the next generation. And then why are we deceiving ourselves? And that is why on this platform you're going for devolution of power. As far as it's not on the expense of anybody, we are with you. You say it's regional autonomy. You say we should go and vote. Whatever we want to do, we want it to be good for our people. We cannot labor like elephant and eat like ant. We cannot be the home of all the natural resources. Majority of it, blessed with human capacity among others. Here in our land, in the land of Biafra, and dead, we live like a beggar. After how many years of independence, we still rejoicing because we saw electric electricity. Oh, up Nepa, oh, up Nepa. A man of 70 years is rejoicing he saw electricity. What a shame. Including Abuja, Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria. These are the things we don't like. These are the things that fuels us. These are the things that motivate us. These are the reason that we are here. Now we are inside fire. Somebody is turning us inside uh, direct to fire. We are inside fry pan. 
and then now they can't want to push us inside fire and some people are saying oh uh, fry pan is hotter fry pan is hotter get to the fire you will understand what we are trying to prevent from you now everybody is building am am group they hide their children in the diaspora they send you to the bush and they tell you vigorously our men are in the bush we got to remain in the bush not come out from the bush he stay inside the bush to the extent that you were you were, i don't understand those of you who are about to die we salute you why are they not do, the one doing the dying do he? and then somewhere somehow because i want you to like me on facebook and then i, I begin to compromise my or lower my standard no way it's not possible because i want you to follow me we love you your love mean nothing to me if it is not for the overall interest of our people your love mean nothing to me and i must appreciate all of you who took your time to call in at least any of you i notice human beings are really coming to this radio station now because this place is meant for human being it's meant for human being everybody is tired already including the eye punk all of them are tired already because it is obvious it is obvious let me leave the other one then tomorrow is another day we continue from where we stop you are a biafran anywhere you are i'll encourage you identify with the de facto customary government look for any pro biafran group you believe in the ideology and I'm welcoming you to the Biafra Nations Alliance. We create an avenue where you will have your say in our say. You will have your say in our say. I see some people drag about issue bluntly. I don't pick offense and I don't see them as enemy of our people. I try to understand what motivates them. What is the driving force behind their very action? What is the intent of their heart? And who are they really? And if you get this answer, you know where they are coming from. And then you can be able to appreciate where they are going to. We must remain focused. We must do the needful. Our people need to get the right message. They need to get the right information. No propaganda. What a shame. Good night. And God be with all of us. You see? You see? And now we fight together. 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 The more we fight together, the stronger we shall be. The more we fight together. 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 The more we fight together. And stronger we shall be. Rising so.